Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to understand the uses of parametric and non-parametric test. So, parametric test is a test in which parameters are assumed and the population distribution is always known. To calculate the central tendency, a mean value is used. These tests are common and this makes performing research pretty straightforward without consuming much time. But in case of uh, uh, non-parametric test, no assumptions are made and it measures with the help of the median value. There is a reason why this median is used in case of non-parametric test and why mean test is used. There are some of the assumptions that we must check while selecting a particular test while hypothesis testing. So one is what is the sample sampling distribution? Let us see. This is the sampling distribution. This is the sampling distribution. So sampling distribution, if you see in this case, there is a normal distribution. That means what does it mean? Mean falls at the center, if you see. So in this case, if you see here the sampling distribution, you see this is positively skewed because mean is skewed towards the left, it is not in the middle. So here if you see it is negatively skewed, that means it is skewed towards the right side. Therefore, since in case of the middle, one normal, this is the data that we find that is the normal distribution. Therefore, in parametric test, this mean test, this mean test is used because mean in a distribution, sampling distribution, it falls at the middle. But in comparison to other two distributions, like that is something uh, 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 negatively skewed and positively skewed, since means does not fall at the center of distribution, therefore we use uh, this uh, uh, um, that non-parametric test. Okay. There is another, another assumption that when we have the sample and we, uh, uh, we make the distributions also and we have to fulfill that another assumption for the parametric test. Okay. In order to run a parametric test, what is more important, the homogeneity of variance is also being used. Okay. If the data is found to be like normal and homogeneous, that means we can also select parametric test. What is this homogeneity of variance? You can see there is one uh, opera that makes some sort of concern. Okay. You can see there are different places it is making uh, that uh, a concert. You can say this is one, this is one, this is one, okay, this is one, and here you can see this is what difference that you are finding in between these two. Okay, if you see the spread is more in case of this, okay, therefore this data is heterogeneous. Whereas this data, if you see, spread is not that much here, therefore this data is. Uh, what you can say this is homogeneous. How you can check this? There is a Levin test. Okay. There is a Levin test. We can go for Levin test okay, or homogeneity of variance test. And if we found that p value is less than 0 0.05 and it, it is called significant, okay, that means data is heterogeneous. And in case of uh, like uh, if p value is greater than 0 0.05, we will find that it, the data is non-significant. That means we will find that the data is homogeneous. That means homogeneous of variance is maintained. Okay. If we found that or if, if we find the data is homogeneous, then we can select the parametric test. But in case of this, if you see come to this, that uh, distribution, we can check with a uh, histogram or PP plot or QQ plot we can check or skewness and cortices we can check also if the value falls between plus 1 and minus 1 of skewness and cortices that will also uh, that conclude that the data is normal okay. normal distribution we have found and there is also another kind of test that we can uh, that also perform that is case test okay case test by using case test that we, we can also that uh, we can check. So, in case of case test also, the p value has to be uh, like uh, uh, non normal. Okay. okay. P, p value has to be uh, that uh, non normal uh, or it has to be non significant in order to check this. Uh, it has to be greater than 0 0.05. Okay. 
you know to uh, that uh, conclude that uh, tie is normal so these are the two important assumptions that we must check while selecting one parametric or non parametric test so let us see so let us understand this that uh, research design for this so independent test this is for sample for independent test the samples are independent samples are independent what does it mean that means suppose we compare a store 1 and store 2 okay two group normally group 1 okay and another group we will check like group 2 it can be store 1 or store 2 or class 1 and class 2 or section a and section 2 okay there are two groups and these two groups are independent they are exclusive there is no dependence relationship that we fine between the two groups. So this is the sampling, uh, the, this is the research design while we prepare the questionnaire we have to see that there are two groups, two samples are taken, two group samples are taken and we want to make the comparison between two. Let us remember this, to use this test we must run this normal no, normality test and homogeneity test we must also um, check. Okay, If the data is found to be normal we can use this. Else it has another alternative kind of test so we can run for this mon whitney test if data is not found to be normal or homogeneous both assumptions have to be filled so we have to select this mon whitney test so here paired sample paired sample also it is also two sample but the, the research design has to be different like take for example there is a training okay there is a training training program is conducted so what is the outcome of the training program we can check there are some of the respondents some respondents like one to some some 20 or 30 whatever maybe 30 respondent take for example we have uh, we'll take okay so what is suppose there is uh, uh, there are some issues interpersonal uh, that conflicts are there among the people so to minimize interpersonal con conflict what happens the organizations plans to implement a training program like Johari window or T training kind of the training. So what, how many issues are coming before and after the training program, okay, like number of complaints received before and after, like so 1 to 30 people. So you can also before how many were coming, who were making the complaints before that and after how many complaints are there. So uh, whether there is a significant difference between the complaints raised before the training program and after the training program that we are going to check it okay so here what happens the samples that we have they are paired okay that means here the same respondent is studied two times okay but here that was not happening like same respondent this this is one exclusive group there are some of the like maybe students are there and there are also some of the students are like, like class 1 and class 2 okay they are studied their mark is compared and what we are doing we are comparing means by this this is comparing means okay but here what happens we are not studying these groups twice rather we are studying these groups once only so this is the pair therefore it is called paired sample t test because we are pairing okay before the treatment there is a treatment given in between and before the treatment what was the condition and after the conditions okay similarly in medical science also we can see like suppose there are some of the people who are suffering from obesity diseases okay obesity disease and they want to that uh, get weight loss so what happens the doctor recommend them you do one some of the exercise and every day five kilometers that you walk okay so uh, that initially the weight can be measured then after one month, after giving the treatment like morning walk or uh, lemon, um, uh, honey, that hot water, all this kind of treatment, we will find some of the weight. We can compare the before and after. So, so let us remember when we have this uh, like some of the samples like this. So we have also some of the samples like this. What we will do? We will compare the mean of this. Okay. So we must see that data is normal and data is homogeneous and we can also uh, perform this test. If the data is not homogeneous and uh, 
uh, the data is not homogeneous or normal we can there is another um, the test that is called Wilcoxon test we can use similarly if you see here like ANOVA ANOVA we can um, uh, like uh, there are more than two samples like store one store two okay and there uh, there is another store take for example store three we want to compare the revenue or the sales of three stores whether they significantly differs or not okay so uh, that we are going to see check so suppose take for example that these are the three stores and one month sales we are taking like date one date two date three like 30 days we are taking so what we are going to do we are going to so for all the store one we are taking the 30 days sales data we are for store two we are taking 30 days sales data and for say, store three we are taking so 30 days uh, sales data so what we are doing we are trying to compare the mean value of all these stores whether they significantly vary this is called an, an analysis of variance so this is the research design that we can do okay so i will run that i will run some test also we'll see that what are the two samples and uh, uh, what are the two ways and one way is that anova that i will tell there okay so for this also if you see you can see we have checked it before and after so similarly take for example we can see one month difference obesity patient that i was thinking one this is the base baseline baseline we can take baseline weight okay then after one month after two months okay after three months okay uh, like that we can compare like some 20 people or 30 people are there like this okay their values normal this has to be please let us remember that the data has to be normal and data has to be homogeneous okay so this is that and for this the data is not normal and data is not homogeneous we can go for Kruskalwalis, okay, and for this also we can go for Friedman ANOVA, okay, if data is not. So what it does, non-parametric test, what it does? So non-parametric test, when data is not normal, data normally, non-parametric test rank the data, okay, or in order of values, okay, these are all metric data that we are talking about, okay, we are talking about all metric data or numeric data whether it is parametric or non-parametric except that like chi-square test that we will also do one chi-square test we will see that is also non-parametric test we will see okay that is non-metric okay that is non-metric because responses are always categorical there okay, like text based okay so what it does like for a store take for example so it will rank all this that means highest like a highest sales figures that will be ranked one and less uh, sales figures that will be ranked last like the least one okay least rank it will get okay in between if some something uh, come like one uh, like a figure is repeated okay so in that case suppose uh, in between one and two rank there are two figures are there okay like those two figures will be ranked as 1.5 and 1.5 like that it makes a mean and whatever is the median value it takes accordingly calculations is calculations are performed so these are the different kinds of uh, parametric non-parametric test like we have uh, seen that here we understood independent test uh, research design pair test research design research design for parametric test and non-parametric test questionnaire as per are there there is substitute test okay these are same but thing is that only thing that we must understand here we have to before selection of a test we have to see the sample okay then we have to see uh, the normality okay whether the data is normal or not whether the data is homogeneous or not okay we have to see all these things and accordingly we can select the test that's for the lessons i will see in the